Witt, Trenary, and Debbie Thomas. But first, let's pause. There's a traditional routine, a ritual for Katarina and her coach, Frau Mueller, just before the skate, as Caddy begins to pace like a hunting lioness. Of her coach, she said, she's much more than a coach. She's a confidant, almost a mother. And that is so apparent in the very moving communication that always takes a special form. And there is that final touch, a touch of love and encouragement, because then the mentor will wait, and the protege will move all alone to center stage. The first lady of figure skating, the reigning Olympic and world champion, and she began this defense of her world championship in Budapest by winning the figures, which is a rarity for her, the marvelous lady. Well, Ted, it will be very interesting to see just what happens. I'm sure that she's going to do it, but she has never been first in figures before, and it must be a kind of exhilarating feeling. Just exactly as that double axle was absolutely exhilarating. Great combination. I spoke to her teacher, Yuta Miller, before, and she says Katarina has one of the best attitudes of any of the skaters of her generation. I have not seen her miss. She is so dependable, and what a pleasure for any teacher to have this kind of pupil. Of course, how many double Olympic gold medalists are there in the world? Only two, Sonia Haney and Katarina Witt. her last year as a major international amateur competitor and if you've seen her you've seen one of the all-time greats i think that wave you talk about so often is there taller well the wave often comes certainly and it's very visible or or, or very much in evidence when you do the combination as Elizabeth Manley didn't and the double axle so it should be clear sailing from here on in. With this kind of performance, with the reputation, with paying your dues for so many years in skating, this is the sort of 6.0 performance. She deserves it. She should have it. They should be gutsy enough to pull on out and give it to her. You know, she came down and presented the combination to Frau Mueller. She came right into the corner where Fra was standing, and they were practically able to touch hands down there as she completed the second part of it. And she's getting a standing ovation. People have rushed down to the boards, which they've been asked not to do, but they're doing it. And the two of them, Frau Mueller and uh, Katerina, with their own private greeting for each other as she came off the ice. Like Brian Voitano in the short program, a short program where he stood up 
on the battlefield where so many fell down, she has done the same thing, proving herself to be the ultimate champion. But the marks are surprisingly low, really. I don't quite understand for her. The Yugoslav has been off anyway. The Canadian giving her a 5'8", and the Bulgarian, the East German, of course, the Pole, but a 5'6", there from Finland. Now, what the Canadian has done here uh, with Audrey Moore, as you remember, with Elizabeth Manley for the same mark, with a very big mistake, she gave a 5-7. So, really, one-tenth of a point isn't much of a difference. There's the 6.0. Yes, there's a 6 from the East German judge, and it's well-deserved from uh, Reinhard Mirmsecker. And the rest of 5 nines, except for that... Yugoslavian chap, five eight, and we'll be back. Debbie Thomas, if she's seen that, must be wondering what it is she can possibly do.